came from Jesus. Today's word is reciprocity. Is recipro is reciprocity. Don't ask me to do a damn thing that you wouldn't do for me. Hello everyone. Now I hope you're having a good day, but if you're not, I can guarantee that after this news, and this is for the uncontaminated Christian folk, the ones who have not been um, brainwashed, I should say it. The ones who have revisited what it really means to be Christian, I'm speaking to you. Now this false prophet, this thief, is going to prison. Oh my God, neighbors, y'all gotta get in here and check this out. Remember Bishop Whitehead? Well, he has been sentenced to nine years in prison after being found guilty of conning a church member out of $90,000 bank fraud, extortion, and using church money to buy designer clothes, and much more. Now, neighbors, it looks like Whitehead will be exchanging his bishop title for inmate number 98765. According to Daily News, Lamar Whitehead was sentenced to nine years in prison Monday for swindling his, his parishioner's mother out of her life savings and other scams. Now, as previously reported, he was found guilty of wire fraud, attempted extortion, lying to the FBI, other crimes related to different schemes. For this particular case, he was found guilty of lying to one of his church members, saying that he was going to buy her a fixer-upper, use the money to renovate the home but she is claiming that he did nothing of the sort instead of buying the fixer upper for the old woman to live in he actually used that money to buy designer clothes and a bmw now in addition to using the money to buy clothes and a bmw they're claiming that he even tried to scam a repairman out of a five thousand dollar job and it did not stop there they are also claiming that he used fraudulent bank documents to obtain a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan now this is all so crazy he definitely needs to go sit down for some time neighbors i'm curious to know what y'all think about this entire situation they are claiming that whitehead abused his power congregation that trusted him saying that he knew powerful figures in hollywood that would assist him in getting things done they're saying that he just used that to pull the strings of the people in his congregation to get money into his hands now, neighbors i'm curious to know what y'all think about this i feel like he needs to go sit down longer especially since he convinced her to give him ninety thousand dollars out of her life savings um neighbors let me know what y'all think regarding this entire situation in the comments. Peace. I said what I said. As always, stay safe and be self aware and subscribe for more snippets of wisdom and real talk. Please like the video. Please like, 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 share, and subscribe. Please. See you in the next video.